Hi everyone, it's Tawanda from Little Zou, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a design for your t-shirt or hoodie printing business. So let's get started. Right, so after opening up GIMP, we're going to go to File, New, and then we're going to change the image size to 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels, and of course change the background color to transparency. Click OK. Now the first step we need to do is to make sure that we add our guides. So that's going to be the new guides by percentage. First we're going to go with horizontal, click OK. And then next we're going to create a vertical guide. Right, and then you click OK on that. So the next step is create a new layer. We're going to create a new transparent layer there. So basically what we're going to be doing is creating a series of circles. So we're just going to add a new layer and fill that in with white. And then select our ellipse tool. Make sure when you click and drag, you press shift for a perfect circle. That's about right. Place it at the center there. Right click, edit, and then select stroke selection. Let's stroke that by a width of five. All right, right click, select none. So we're gonna do this for the next three or four circles we're gonna create. New layer, each circle going onto a new layer. Click and drag, pressing shift. And then just make the necessary adjustments to your circle depending on the size you want for your design. So for this circle, we're going to change the line width to 15. And then we click OK. Right click, select none. OK, so that's going to be the outline. Move the transparency for those two layers. And then you can go ahead and merge the three layers. So that's by pressing Command or Control on your keyboard and pressing M. And then press Enter. We bring back the visibility. The circle we're drawing here is going to help us guide our text. So the path we're going to create, which our text is going to sit on, is going to be guided by that circle there. The line width really isn't much of an issue. You can go ahead and create any width you want. Just make it as, just don't make it too thick. Otherwise, you won't be able to read your text clearly while you're editing. So yeah, we'll make sure I put that on its own um, layer again. So what we want to create is this. So we're going to be using that as reference for the design we're making right now. All right, so now what we're gonna do is drag that guide there and then select the paths tool. I'm gonna click create two points there, right, that line there, and then on the other side. And then we're gonna try and make it sit on that line which we've just, on that circle we created there. Just make sure that it's as perfect as possible. And then you press enter once you're happy with what you've done. Now we go ahead and, and select the text tool and type in our statement or tagline or whatever statement you want to add. Right, so after making adjustments to your text, you go ahead and select that and then you right click in that text and then select text along path. Depending on what you want or on how you want your text to look like, you keep making adjustments until it's perfect. Right, in this case we're going to leave it at that. Make sure you right click select none. And then you remove visibility on the text layer, create a new layer, and then right click inside that text and then you fill it in. Go to the paths tab and remove the visibility from the path you've just created. And then now we have our text standing out on its own. I went on to select the rotation tool to make sure that I positioned it according to what I wanted. So you can also do the same. Go back to the layers section, remove visibility. There, you see? Just going to keep the circle there so that we can create the text right at the bottom there, motivating you since 2020 now. Right, so the process is basically the same. Drag the guide, use the path tool to create the path the text is going to follow. And yeah, the rest is just basically repetition. Right, now we remove the visibility since we're not going to be needing that circle anymore. Right, again, go ahead and merge all layers except the white background because that won't be needed for the t-shirt or hoodie printing. Right, so the next step is those three layers of text that we need to add, the Genuine, Big Boss, and Class of 2022. So let's go ahead and start off with Big Boss. My preferred text for this section is uh, should be Candle Mustard. So we're just going to select that. And then we adjust the font size. 100 is a bit too is, is small. Let's go for 200. That should be okay. Let's position that. Now you go ahead and position it wherever you want, however you want. Remove the guides since they're not going to be necessary when you're working on your design. Now in this case I need to scale the text. It's still too small. Let's position that at the middle there, right at the center. Scale. I'm going to rotate it. It's a bit boring when it's flat like that. But again, like I said, you do what you want. You do what you feel like doing. 
at the end of the day, it's your design. And yeah, you don't have to limit yourself to what I'm doing there, but just use your creativity to come up with a design that best suits your needs or requirements. So I'm just going to quickly make adjustments on that. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to create a new layer, put it underneath the boss, big boss text, and then merge the big boss down to the new layer. So as you can notice that my text is black, the circles are black, so it really doesn't look neat. So you can go ahead and delete uh, all those sections that your text is cutting through those lines. Or in my case, I'm a bit lazy right now. So I'm just going to select the select by color tool, select inside the text, invert it, invert the selection. So the text is the one that's selected. Go to select and grow. Then I'm going to grow that by 10. Then we're going to go create a new layer. Place that below the big boss text layer. Get our bucket, select the, the color white and fill that in. Select none. And then make sure to put back on top, black on top again. Now, as you can see, that's what we've done. So you can go ahead now. You can actually just merge the layers first. And then we select the, color, the select by color tool. Select white. And then you just delete the white. And it creates that impression that you've actually just erased the sections where the text is going through the circles. It's cutting through the circles. Now you'll notice that there's a bit of white remaining, or it looks like white, but it's really the pixel pixelated grays and 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 different shades of gray. So we go to colors, and then we select the levels option, and then we drag that tab there right down there towards the right, and you'll see that the pixels are turning into black. It's not perfect, but we can still make adjustments towards the end. Let's leave it like that for now. We need to go ahead and add those other text layers. So I'm just going to quickly go through that. Of course, you're going to go ahead and select the text you feel works for you best. And position them according to your requirements. Right, once that's done, we remove visibility from the white layer. And then we merge all the layers again. Go back to the colors tab and then select the levels option and then we're just going to make the darker again like that and then there you have it it's done it's complete of course this is an entry-level design you can go ahead and create anything using these techniques that i've just showed you you can create any design that you know will work for you or best suit the design you want whatever it is you want to create for your t-shirt for your hoodie and yeah you can even put a vector in the middle you don't have to be limited to just text and yeah as always if you find this useful, if you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the tutorial. Don't forget to share with your friends, your peers, your colleagues. And also don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.